Welcome back, uh, boys and girls, to Mr. Dressup's Tickle Trunk. Today, um, it's not going to be really a how-to, because anybody can do it. As you can see, the shear pin is missing. Uh, I ran into a bit of hoist, I think it was. and um, Yeah, I didn't think it was that big of a piece of hoist, but obviously it was. But this is more for the guy that uh just bought you know just bought a his first snowblower um maybe moved out of an apartment bought a house you know how it goes and you know the dirty uh neighbor's kid who throws this newspaper in the middle of a driveway in the middle of a storm <laughs> and you don't know it and you you know runs over a frozen newspaper and you know and you have this happening this is not turning at all, but, you know, the motor is going this one to turn, but not this one. It's more of, um, to the guy that is tempted to, you know, run in, just get an ordinary bolt, a quarter, 20, or whatever, you know, the size it is, 5 16th bolt, put it in, put a nut on it, and way to go. Um, you know, it's to the guy that probably don't, don't know that, you know these are special bolts as you can see this bolt here it's getting the light here um you see how see that groove right and there's a groove right here as well but right here is definitely a very like a deep groove so and it's soft metal um now the color you would think that's a grade eight bolt but it isn't it's uh so what happens is when you get you know you run over that newspaper or some hoist just a snap right and you want that you want this to break before because if you got to replace this auger gear here uh that's not cheap you know definitely not cheap you don't want to be doing that <clears throat> And just like in here, on your propeller, there's two in here. And that, that's shear bolts, right? You don't want to put regular bolts in there because if if something gets in here and jams it, um, you know, you can do a lot a lot of damage to the gearbox, etc. To your shaft, you can bend the shaft, you know, whatever. You get the idea. So um, you definitely want to put in the proper proper shear bolts now like i said i wasn't going to say how to it was more of but you see you see how this one's got a big hole and this one's got a small hole but the holes on both sides through the shaft i think is the same right If I'm not mistaken, anyway. Okay. So, yeah, guys, I just uh, pushed down on the end on just pulled the cord a little bit to move this so you, you can work on it better. But I didn't notice right here. You can see how it's deformed here. So... That was quite a bit, so, but the uh, the hole through the shaft is not, it's the same size through the shaft. It's just a different size hole on the hogger. <coughs> Excuse me. So what you want to do, line up the, the hole, put your bolt through, uh, and tighten it up. Because um, as you'll see here, You'll see that it's got a big shoulder, goes in the big hole, right? And what happens is the auger is set up here. So when it's turning and it jams, um, the auger is, is going to help snap this right here. Because this would be the weak point and save you some trouble. So, uh, yeah, guys, just, uh, you know, it's pretty easy. I'm not going to show you putting it in and whatnot. Uh, you will need for this particular machine 
uh, a half inch for this and seven sixteenths for the nut that goes on. There's a, a nylon locking nut. You don't have the cranker real tight, but uh, snug it up and that'll be just fine. So thanks guys for watching and uh, stay safe.